Here's another example. Our parameter now is theta. And, well, there's no use plotting this example because this, this should uh, be familiar to you. So if you look at, let's say theta goes from 0 to 2 pi, and we're saying each x value is cosine theta and each y value is sine theta. Well, those are just points on the unit circle. And so when theta is 0, x is 1, and y is 0. So we're starting there. And as theta goes from 0 to 2 pi, we're just tracing out the unit circle. But if theta went from 0 to 4 pi, we'd be tracing it twice. To prove to you that this is a circle, we can turn it into something without a parameter. So if you notice, x squared plus y squared cosine squared plus sine squared theta, and this is equal to 1. So all of the points in this parameterized curve are on the unit circle. I mean, we already knew that, but this actually is the equation that describes the unit circle. All right, here's another example. It looks very similar to the previous one, except we have this 4 and this 5 thrown in there. Um, so we could plot a table of points and, and try to see what it looked like. There's sort of a better way. We sort of already know a relationship between cosine and sine, namely cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1. So let's exploit that. So x over 4 is cosine, and y over 5 is sine. So the one fact, well, we know many facts about cosine and sine, but sort of the one that closely relates them is the one I just said, cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1. So substituting here, I have x over 4 squared plus y over 5 squared equals 1. So x and y satisfy this equation. And if you remember your conic sections from whenever you learned them, this is actually an ellipse. So it has major axis of uh, length 5, or semi-major axis, semi-minor axis of length 4, well it sort of looks like a circle because of my scale, but it should be an ellipse. And. So this is what this is the graph of, but let's say we want to draw this parameterized curve. We're told theta goes from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. Well, in that case, cosine starts at 0, so the x value is 0, and, and y starts at negative 5. And if you think about it, this just goes by the angle here. So the parameterized curve describes this. So this is where knowing what the actual curve is helps you, helps you do the plotting. Here's a final plotting example. To plot this one, it's best to figure out what the Cartesian equation is, so that means we want to get rid of the parameter. So 
So one way to do that, I could take this, raise both sides to the exponent of e, so e to the x equals e to the natural log of t, which is just t. So y equals square root of e to the x, which is just e to the x over 2. And we're told t is greater than or equal to 1. That tells us x is greater than or equal to 0. Because when t is 1, natural log is 0. And when t is bigger than 1, it's positive. So plotting this is no problem. We just plot e to the x over 2 for x greater than 0.